Good morning, Sycamore Junior High. Over to Annabelle and Kendall for the date. Hello, I'm Annabelle and this is Kendall, and we're here for the date. Today is Tuesday, February 6th. Welcome to this episode of our daily video announcements. I'm Krish. And hello, I'm Henry. We're so excited to be here on the daily video announcements. Now let's all please stand and place our hands over our hearts and honor this amazing country as we say the Pledge of Allegiance together. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. Please be seated. National Day! Today is National Frozen Yogurt Day. Did you know frozen yogurt is more of a tart than actual ice cream? Really? I never knew that. Wait, what? We have a special guest in the studio today. Let's bring in Captain Aviator for some awesome news. Dun, dun, dun! Congratulations, wrestlers, who finished third place despite having three starters out of the lineup. What an awesome finish. What an, uh, an awesome season. Uh, I wanted to acknowledge these wrestlers at the, the GMC Placers. Sixth place, Luca Herrera, James Geary, Christian Fig, Caden Clardy, Brown, the lawnmower. Fifth place, Matthew Hutcher. Fourth place, Caleb Dallas. Third place, Caden Clark. Caden Clark beat a guy that beat him twice earlier and beat him when it mattered for the medal. S second place, Aiden Dozier, Corbin Ross, and Julian Hemphill. Julian was on the B team for most of the year, came off the B team in the A lineup and fin finished out at second on the GMC. Way to go. And then our champion, stepping up, head and arm to the mat with a pin, Charlie Claibon finishing it up. Fantastic job. And then if that wasn't enough, we went to districts on Sunday where Charlie Claibon, Caleb Dallas, and Aiden Dozier, and Aiden Dozier placed eighth in the district. All of Cincinnati. Fantastic job. I wanted to remind all the wrestlers, tomorrow is our equipment turn-in day and our awards. Report to the wrestling room after school with all of your cleaned and washed equipment. Parents will meet us at 5 o'clock in the cafeteria. We'll see you there. Way to go, wrestlers! Thanks, Captain Aviator. Whoa, cool mask. Congrats to our wrestling team and way to represent Aviator Nation. Wow, that's so awesome. Way to go, Sycamore teams. All right. Next up, we have our clubs and activities announcements. First Robotics teams will have a robotics meeting Wednesday after school until 4.30 p.m. to plan for Thursday's presentation. Make arrangements for a ride home at 4.30 p.m. All girls interested in playing spring softball, please attend the informational meeting on Thursday, February 8th, during Flexpo in the auxiliary gym. Please see Coach Brown or Mr. Stern if you have any questions. Check your emails every day. Be responsible young adults and make sure this is a great place to work for future goals. Next, Next up, up, Students of the Week. Hey, good afternoon, Sycamore Junior High. It's Mr. Cole here, and we've got uh, four of our students up here. And uh, this week, these are going to be our four students of the week. But I wanted to have them introduce themselves and tell us a little something uh, about themselves. So go ahead. That's awesome. Um, I'm Ava Sheehan, and this year I'm super excited for the track season to start. That's great. Um, I'm Lizzie Kazanowski, and I think I got nom nominated because I always helped pick up materials and take them out. That's awesome. I'm Brooklyn Kramer, and I am excited for some of the band concerts that are coming out. And that's great. And we had a chance to talk a little bit before we did the announcement. And, and this is a group that's just involved in our clubs, our activities, um, our musical activities. Um, and so we just love students here who are engaging uh, in the environment, getting new people, uh, and then just squeezing the most out of Sycamore Junior High. And so uh, each of these people are nominated by a teacher for Student of the Week. Uh, typically, it's because they're helping out in the classroom. Um, they're looking out for um, their classmates. Um, again, they're just people who you know we're just proud to have here at Sycamore Junior High, the type of people that when I see people in the community and they ask, what are teenagers like today? Um, these are the types of students that we're talking about. So for each one of our students, um, we have a certificate for them to take home and put on their refrigerator for Nohea and Ava and for Lizzie and for Brooklyn. And then in addition, we've got some Chick-fil-A so that they can 
take and enjoy this. Uh, if you are friends with them, you can always try to get them to help you uh, buy a meal. Otherwise, uh, we thank you guys for everything that you're doing here at Sycamore just to make it a great place. Uh, and let's see who's going to be up here again next week. Thanks, everybody. Thanks, Mr. Cole. And wow, congratulations to our students of the week. Now over to Mr. Stern with our Athletes of the Week. Good afternoon, Aviator Nation. Mr. Stern here to do this week's and our final uh, winter Athletes of the Week. And before we get to our Athletes of the Week, uh, a big shout out to our wrestling team. Uh, they finished third at the GMC over the weekend. That is no easy tournament uh, to come away with a third place finish is pretty impressive and I think we had one GMC champion Charlie. Uh, that would be Charlie Claibon so Charlie Claibon congratulations to you um, but if uh, overall I think we had like 11 placers uh, in the GMC which is really really impressive and um, I am sitting here with Quinton Pletz and Quinton Pletz was nominated by the wrestling coaches and it reads the athlete of the week for the wrestling team is eighth grader Quinton Pletz Quinton was a great addition to a fully stocked team this year he came in with great work ethic and quickly caught the eye of the coaches. He leads by example and takes great pride in practicing hard and mastering technique. So this is your first year? Mm -hmm. is, that, is that hard to come in as an eighth yeah. grader? And, yeah, no, no doubt. Despite coming from a wrestling family, because your dad coaches as well, uh, Quinton had never wrestled. Early in the season, he developed into a physical wrestler, never holding back and always looking for the pin. Quinton currently posts a winning record in his first year, that's really impressive, and has placed in a handful of tournaments, which is not as easy as it sounds. He displays the wrestler's mindset that he always has a chance no matter the odds. He believes in himself and gets the job done. The coaches are very proud of Quinton and wish him the best of luck throughout his wrestling and academic career. Now, Mr. Foley's a really good writer. I'm really yeah. <laughs> impressed. He had some fantastic things to say about you. So, some really good refrigerator material, a, an award for Quentin, and some free Chick fil A on us. Congratulations. Thank you. Clap, 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 clap. Well done. Well done. And our second recipient, she, Halo, is a member of our dance team. And this is completely new here at Sycamore having a dance team. How has that gone this year? It's really great, but we need more people. Need more people, and uh, one of the things that I got to see was youth night, and what did you notice at youth night? Were there a lot of people there? I wasn't there. Oh, you weren't at youth night. So the youth got to perform uh, with our dancers, and they brought about 50 members. So when you say we need more people, I think they're coming because they are all... Uh, at the green school and, and younger. So uh, we hope to really grow the dance program. And Halo, you can say that you were one of the first ones here at the junior high. And your coach says the athlete of the week for the dance team is Halo Maxson. Did I pronounce that correctly? Yeah. Awesome. This is her first year on the dance team and has grown in her dance abilities as well as her leadership. She always has a positive attitude, is encouraging others, and continues to work hard to learn new dance skills. Halo is definitely an asset to the dance team. Congratulations. Clap, 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 clap. So your uh, write-up, your certificate, and enjoy some Chick-fil-A on us. Congratulations. Thank you. You're welcome. Hey, we've got uh, a big week here at the junior high, so typically you get to see Athletes of the Week on Tuesday. So if you're watching this, uh, all four basketball teams are in play tonight as they <clears throat> continue their work uh, to become GMC champs. If they win tonight, they will continue on Thursday, and Saturday we will crown some new GMC champions, and hopefully that will be us. Have a great day, Sycamore. Thanks, Mr. Stern, and congratulations to the Athletes of the Week. Way to represent our school. Next up, birthdays. birthdays. Happy birthdays to all those celebrating today, including L.E.S. and Daniel K. Happy birthday to staff members. Mr. Winkle and Miss Sanders. Have a wonderful day celebrating. Now for the joke of the day with Kendall and Delaney. Hi, I'm Delaney, and this is Kendall, and we're here with your joke. Hey, do you want to hear a construction joke? <laughs> sure. Never mind, I'm still working on it. Uh. <laughs> be the best extraordinary person that you could be. Sycamore follow our PBIS expectations every day. Have a great day, Sycamore, and go, go Aves! Aves.